In round seven, start with one chain stitch. Then work set of three single crochets, one increase for eight times. Finally, end with one slip stitch. Work one chain stitch first. Then work set of three single crochets, one increase for eight times. The first set. Work three single crochets. Mark the first single crochet. Continue to work two more single crochets. Three single crochets are done. Next, work one increase which means working two single crochets in the same stitch. Okay, one set is done. Keep working seven more sets. Work three single crochets and one increase as one set. We have demonstrated the three sets here. Please finish the rest of five sets by yourself. Again, work three single crochets and one increase as one set. Eight sets are done. Remove the marker. And work one slip stitch in the first stitch. Round 7 is done. The stitches for rounds 8 to 14 are all the same. In rounds 8 to 14, start with one chain stitch, then work 40 single crochets. Finally, end with one slip stitch. Work one chain stitch first. Then work one single crochet in each of the stitches. Finish 40 single crochets in total. Mark the first single crochet. Continue to work 39 more single crochets in the same way. Please finish rounds 8 to 14 by yourself. Work one chain stitch, 40 some crochets, and one slip stitch for each round. In round 15, start with one chain stitch. Then work set of 3 some crochets, one decrease, for 8 times. Finally, end with one slip stitch. Work one chain stitch first. Then work set of three single crochets, one decrease for eight times. Work three single crochets. Also mark the first single crochet. Continue to work two more.
Thrice and crochets are done. Then work one decrease. Insert hook through the front loops of the next two stitches. Pay attention, the loop close to us is a front loop. Okay. Hook the yarn. And put the yarn through the two front loops. The yarn hook. And pull through both loops and hook. That's one decrease. Decrease is to combine two stitches into one stitch. There are two ways to make a decrease. Method 1 Insert hook through the front loops of two adjacent stitches. The loop close to us is a front loop. Hook the yarn and pull up loop through the two front loops on hook. Yarn on the hook and pull through both loops on the hook. That's a decrease. Decrease is to combine two stitches into one stitch. The second set. Thread some crochets. Next, work on decrease. Insert hook through the front loops of the next two stitches. Hook the yarn and pull the yarn through the two front loops. The yarn hook and pull through both loops and hook. That's one decrease. The second set is done. The third set. Thread some crochets. Then work one decrease. The third set is done. The fourth set. Thread some crochets. Next, work one decrease. We have demonstrated the four sets here. Please finish the rest of four sets by yourself. Work three some crochets and one decrease as one set. Eight sets are done. Remove the marker. And work one slip stitch in the first stitch. Okay, round 15 is done. In round 16, start with one chain stitch. Then work 32 some crochets. Finally, end with one slip stitch. Work one chain stitch first. Then work one some crochet in each of the stitches. Finish 32 some crochets in total. Still mark the first some crochet. Okay. Continue to work 31 more some crochets.
Please finish the rest of some crochets by yourself. Work 32 some crochets in total. 32 some crochets are done. Remove the marker. And work one slip stitch in the first stitch. Round 16 is done.